Hey everyone, it's Michelangelo, and today I'm going to be walking you through a new track of mine, Dark Wishes, that I wrote using the new Hyperion Strings Solo Violins Library by Soundiron. I'll go ahead and play through the demo first and walk you through how I wrote it using the new library. So this was something that was written in that classic Django Reinhardt style jazz. And when playing around with a lot of these phrases, I just found that so many of them fit so naturally into that style of music that I wanted to write something in that style. So let's go ahead and take a look at my session. So you'll see that I have two instances here, one second violin phrases and one first violin phrases. So let's go ahead and take a look at the second violin phrases. So you'll see that I have some key switches assigned. So for example, I have some A forte darks assigned, some A lights, some D darks, and also note my BPM, it's 215. And these phrases, as you can see, were recorded at 140 and 70. So that's a big difference in BPM, but it doesn't really matter because these phrases are so incredibly versatile that they're gonna fit into pretty much any tempo or any BPM that you're at. So when picking these phrases that I was going to use, I was really looking for stuff that had that big expression, lots of vibrato, that type of style. And of course, I was looking for phrases that made sense to use harmonically as well. So for example, I have my D phrases in my D minor lines, my A phrases in my A minor lines, and things like that. And I also looked for phrases that would make some cool chords, like some major seventh chords, some six nine chords, and some dominant seventh chords, just things like that, because those type of chords are used in this style of music a lot. And of course, there's a lot of chromaticism in here as well. Now, these phrases are incredibly realistic. So if you want to do something like what I did, which is to record some live instruments and blend the two together, the phrases and whatever instruments you're using are going to blend super well and just fit so naturally together. So when writing in this Django jazz style of music, you typically have your chords, you have your bass, you have your lead melody, and then you probably have some rhythm section going on. So in my case, my rhythm is some live snare brushes. My bass is a live upright bass. As you can tell, I'm not a bass player, so uh, there's a little bit of imperfections in there, 
but I kept those in there because it adds to the realism instead of uh, being so chopped up that it becomes unnatural. And then um, you'll also see that I have some, what I like to call ear candy, which is just basically just little musical indentions just to add some color, or some unique timbres. Then of course I have my nylon guitar. And then I have a banjo. Now, a lot of the times, the banjo isn't the first instrument that you think of when you think of this style of jazz, but in this case, I think it adds some unique timbres in there and some cool textures and things like that. Plus, I wanted to strengthen the bed of chords that I have going on in my nylon guitar, and I think that it just gives a bit of an extra punch and a little bit of a extra clarity and some, uh, some uniqueness in there as well. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough and thank you so much for watching.